Kyle, it is time for the match we've all been waiting for. Our third seed, Believe the Hype, takes on your Halo Reach Fantasy Dream Team. Instinct is playing on our main stage. And guys, in all of the discussions we've had before this event, this is the one we've been hyping up. Why are you so excited for it? Well, Chris, we can't say it enough, and I'm going to always repeat myself. This is a god squad. You have Lunchbox and Roy joining with Ogre 2 and Pistola. Pistola and Roy alone, I think, with the random third and fourth, could probably place in the top six. They're that good. Yeah, and on top of that, we've got Believe the Hype, who in my mind is another one of the top three or top five Halo teams in the world. And it's going to be our first time we see the new Believe the Hype with Neighbor on the team as opposed to ABG. And on top of it, the first time in tournament play, we're going to be able to see Instinct. I mean, you said that that's the team everyone here is probably most excited about to watch. That's why this match is huge. The winner of this match, I wouldn't even say most likely to get out of Pool C because there's Cole Nate Ribbon good. sitting right there. But, I mean, it's a huge match. It's going to be absolutely huge. This match will determine who is going to have the advantage moving forward. That's for sure. Remember, Believe the Hype was the only team to go undefeated in their pool, and they did it in the pool of death back in Dallas. Can they repeat, or will Instinct get off to a hot start? It's time to find out. Believe the Hype is taking on Instinct on our main stage, and let's meet our red team, BTH. player has stepped up and had the big game. Clutch does it all. I, he doesn't get enough credit. I'm just watching Clutch almost take over this game. The guy's been taking the best routes I've seen. He's going to get into a fight and a great headshot right there by Maniac. Yeah, he's got at least three or four killing screens this game. And APG is right. Oh my, it's the headshot through his teammate. Hey, what's up, teammates? I can't believe what I am seeing right now. Maniac sniped through his teammate, picked up the nose from any kill punch. I don't think there's any stops in this guy. Lenny leading three to two. Here we go. We got a, we got the flag moving with Believe the Hype. Clutch is about to ten. Season MVP Cloud is holding on to Rocket. He expected a player to be coming up that ramp. That second Rocket is perfect as he picks up the double. The tunnels there for Amish Acorns. Looks like he's going to back down. Double kill for Neighbor. Oh. There is the triple. 49 to 48. This one can go either way. APD! There you see the BTH squad. And I believe we have an interview with the man who loves to talk trash during the game. It's Neighbor. <laughs> Thanks, Bucket. I am here with Neighbor. So I opened up these questions to the Twitter community, and this is what came back for you, Neighbor. This is from at Tom Slim. He wants to know, what was the decision factor for teaming with Believe the Hype after placing second with the Combine Kids of Impact? Uh, one decision was these guys are all veteran players, and uh, I wanted to win, and I felt like with Impact, uh, we had a lucky tournament, kind of. Uh, we had a really easy pool if we beat FB, which we did. And um, I just felt that, you know, with more experienced players, I could go farther in reach. And as a follow-up to that, at Nick Pelly wants to know, is this team a better fit than Impact was? Uh, it's, it's tough to say. I, I felt comfortable on Impact, but I feel comfortable on BTH. Um, you know, I, I've, I've known these guys for the last five years, and so I, I would say, you know, I'm, I'm more comfortable with these guys for sure. Okay, and this last question comes from at PFAC, and he wants to know, you guys have been practicing a lot online, so do the four of you all share the same work ethic as far as practicing goes? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we try and get on every day, uh, practice for a few hours. The, the team actually came out to my house a uh, week before. We went to Chicago for a land, so we got a lot of good practice for this tournament. Fantastic, sounds good. Good luck to you in the event. Chris Bucket, back up to you. Thanks, Julie. So, guys, Neighbor joining Believe the Hype. They drop APG, who is just a pure slayer, always aggressive, as, as we saw in the earlier series. Tell me, what is going to be the different play style we're going to see out of Believe the Hype this event? Uh, I think we're going to see more of an objective-oriented play. Uh, Neighbor, although we all think of him as like a kind of main slayer, last tournament on Impact, he was the one running flags. He was the one arming the bombs. I mean, he brought a lot of other things to the team. 
And so I'm expecting to see them more objective-oriented, not just trying to slay the other team. I have to agree with him, but I'm expecting to see if Clutch can carry his record because he always dominates on Friday, and so does this Believe the Hype squad. I want to see if they can lose on Friday, if it is possible for Believe the Hype to lose on a Friday. Last time we saw BTH on the main stage, I believe Maniac dropped a running riot for us with a sniper and a rocket. And guys, I'm calling it now. I think Neighbor has potential to be the best objective player in all of Halo all time after seeing the way he was playing at the LAN. Look for him to be doing some awesome, sneaky, smart objective work. That's a pretty bold statement there, Chris. Pretty smart guy with great predictions. But guys, they're running up against the fan favorite for this event. They are taking on a team wearing blue. I don't expect to see that long. Nope. It's instinct. Let's meet the squad. Roy and Lunchbox, probably the best duo players who have been playing together since 2007. Ogre 2, the winningest player in Halo history. Pistola is absolutely disgusting. He's going to be going off constantly during this tournament. He's been on a new stage before we get to the Every time we watch the final boss, I've already switched between like victory and experience. Oh. Flags down bottom middle, sniper in the hands of Roy here, it's time for him to shine. Roy, he has not stopped playing the console. With the top team, Roy's picking up huge shots right now. I expect this team to start heating up. Roy. Royal Launchbox is still the core of this team, but they have some new faces. They know how to handle the pressure. They're ready to go. All right, so there you are taking a look at Instinct. If I call him final boss, forgive me. Sitting on the main stage next to the winningest player of all time. He has four national championships under his belt. It's Julie with Ogre 2. Winningest player of all time, and for the first time, you are in green. Completely different. It's, it's a little weird. I, I'm adjusting. So again, these questions are from the Twitter community, so this is what they wanted to ask you. This is from Katie Element. Wants to know how it feels to give up the name Final Boss and now play under the name Instinct. Um, it wasn't really my choice, but uh, we did leave the Final Boss team and we joined Instinct technically. And, uh, you know, some rules weren't able to be shifted in our favor, so... Uh, we're playing as Instinct now, and it, it, it doesn't really matter that much to me, to be honest. I'm just trying to win, and uh, I think this is the squad to do it with. All right, and this one comes from at Tom Slim, and he wants to know what it's like playing with Roy Box, Roy and Lunchbox, after playing with your brother as a pair of twins for so long, for so many years. Uh, it's amazing. It's definitely an advantage. Uh, I feel like those two have perfect chemistry together, and I, I don't know if it's a twin thing or what, but just their awareness levels, they're just... It, it reminds me of Dan and myself, you know, it, it just definitely feels like we have almost an extra player on the, on the map. And speaking of chemistry, I want to know how you would describe the chemistry between the four of you now. The chemistry is great. Honestly, we've been clicking perfectly. We got a lot of practice in. We were definitely, I feel, the most practiced team between last event and this event. And uh, everything's been going great so far. We went to Atlanta and we went undefeated and uh, we're looking to win the tournament. Well, you guys just came off of a 3-0 sweep just a few minutes ago over Give Me My Money. So good luck going into this competition. We'll see you later. Twitter community, tweet to me your questions for the winner of this event at Julie Alexandria. Let me know who you want me to talk to and let me know the questions you want to know the answers to. Chris Bucket, see you in a minute. All right, thanks, Julie. And guys, hashtag MLG, Sundance wants it trending. Me too. Let's get it done. <laughs> Believe the hype, instinct, it's going down, and here in Pool C, this match is going to be huge. The winner of this one has a great chance of coming out into our winner's bracket semifinals, and it's time to get it started right now. It's going to be Capture the Flag on Warlock.
All right, so here we go. Believe the Hype taking on Instinct. We are getting this one started with Roy. And guys, Instinct has three of my top five players. Before last event, I had Roy and Lunchbox definitely in my top five. And I think Pistola is definitely the best player in the game right now. Agreed? Uh, that's, that's undoubtedly. I mean, he's the best player in the game. And they're the best players on this map. They went 9-0 at the LAN, and they beat Believe the Hype twice in it. In my mind, you've got Pistola at 1A and Roy at 1B. I mean, both those players are so good. They do everything. Literally, they are the best players in the game in my mind. And like you said, the third one would be Lunchbox. That guy is almost as good as his twin brother. Uh, did you guys see the flag cap in 30 seconds? Because uh, I did. Ogre 2 puts in the first flag of the game in just 30 seconds. Instinct coming out hot, guys. And, you know, Believe the Hype has a higher seed, but can we all agree that if BTH wins this one, they will continue the upsets here on the main stage? Yes. Have to agree 100%. But Lunchbox is running another flag in. This is two flags in a minute. This team is the gods. I'm so happy to see. And it took yeah. Roy 58 seconds to die. We finally were able to change from his screen and go to Lunchbox, who's putting in flag number two. Chris, thoughts on the start of this game? I mean, I'm, I'm watching the BTH squad <laughs> right now, and it, it looks like the most frustrating game ever because no matter what they do, they're getting shot from almost every single angle. So right now, Neighbor getting a touch on that flag and starting a flag run of their own. And I know people on the forums are probably hating on me right now. Puckett, why are you so biased? This has been my dream team since the start of Halo 3. Actually, around the second year of Halo 3, when I saw these four players, I was like, what if they all team together? It would be like the second reincarnation of team domination. Believe the Hype has their hands full, but these guys are also 2009 national champions, and they have what it takes to beat this Instinct squad. Remember, at the LAN Network LAN, right before this tournament, Great Rippin was taking games from Instinct. They are not invincible. And that's the truth, Chris. I mean, Believe the Hype has that spark. But when I was talking to Clutch before this tournament, he looked at me and he said, what if Instinct doesn't win to pull? Which means it's showing a sign of doubt, and he expects to lose to them, which is not what you determine mindset you want at all. The fact that there's a doubt that you say, what if they lose, doesn't show like you have that much hope. Yeah, I got to agree with that, that kind of comment is already almost admitting defeat and giving yourself an excuse to lose. But right now, Instinct showing why that they flag that incredible flag. Even though they put in the third flag, he is taking notes from Ace and he is running the flag with Camo. He, they weren't able to get a shot on him, so I think that is the key in this game type to do. You get the Camo and you run that flag. Yeah, we've seen it now two series in a row. Camo running the flag, I guess. Take notes, everyone on the forums. This is what we're going to be doing now. This seems to be the pro way. And it works so well. It's so hard to get shots on that flag guy and stop it. Hey, guys, I think we should just go to listen in a lot during this series. Guys, remember, we are on Twitter all weekend long. We got our experience plays here up in the commentary booth. So hit me up with any comments, predictions, at MLG Puckett. Gandhi, give yours. MLG underscore Gandhi. Jack. And I'm at the shockwave with a three at the end. We're going to shut up and listen in with the Instinct Squad as we crank up our Astro 840s. They're weak, they're weak. Nice. I need to go I need to go check. 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 I need to they want it all. I'm needing the flag. Two up, they have it. Watch out their flag, guys. Watch out on their flag. I'm looking. Light him up. I got him. Nice help. On their flag, two guys on me. I need help. I have On my lip. On my lip. And on their flag. Three flag, guys. Watch out, guys. Three shots. I'm in my board. I got him. They lie. On their board. On their board. After all the board. After all the board. Their name. I got him. Watch out. No two guys on me. Watch out, Jason. Watch out, their name. They lie. Absolutely. I have camel, guys. I'm going to try. I got one. I'm on the airport. I'm on the flag. I'm on the flag. He's dead. I'm running there. Watch it. Watch yellow. Out. Find me yellow. Yellow's me. Watch out. I got him. Watch green now. He's still there. I'm running yellow. I'm running yellow. I'm running yellow. I'm running yellow. I ran a long way. I don't see him either, guys. Yep, I already did one shot. Find you guys. Clouds up our lift in a second. Clouds wake up our lift. I got him. I got a lift. Nice. Fucking go, baby.
All right, so there we go, right away, final, or excuse me, Instinct takes game number one. Guys, I just barely dodged that one. Roy starts it off with a killing spree, drops 15 kills in game number one. Ogre 2 behind him with 11. That was probably the fastest capture of the flag, Warlock, we are going to see all weekend long. Five minutes for five flags. Chris, have fun picking the MVP for this series, man. I can't wait to see who it am is. I, am I allowed to pick the entire Instinct squad? <laughs> Yeah, we can interview all four of them. Why not? I mean, it's looking like it right now. Team VP, but hey, don't cannot believe the hype yet. It's a best of five series, and game number two is coming up after this. We're just hanging out. Game number Welcome back, guys. We had a slight technical problem, but it's all good now. We are ready for game number two. Instinct really living up to the name God Squad, but we'll see if they can continue their hot streak as we go into our Team Slayer Zealot game number two. Here we go. We're going to I Got Your Pistola to kick off game number two. Guys, last event, he has the most positive kill to death spread out of any player, but I think almost 96. The second place guy, I think, was either Enable or Snipe Down. Pistol drop positive 214. Uh, last I, think, event. I think more impressively, he was at a 1.4 to 4 kill death ratio. 
and he got 1.44 kills per death. That is absurd in Halo, especially in Halo Reach. And uh, what I want you guys to watch for when you're watching I Got Your Pistol, see how much damage he inflicts before being taken out. Even if he knows he's going to die, he's going to push out and land the melee right before being taken out. He's so incredible. There he got a kill and an assist with the same grenade shot. Six to five, though. Believe the Hype coming out strong. And I really like this game type of Believe the Hype. I think the last game, we've talked about it. They need to put that behind them. And this is a game type they can be able to win, pull out, and get some momentum back. And I do want to make a quick correction. Sorry, I got some wrong information. Straight Rippin has already beaten Believe the Hype. So BTH really needs to win this series to have a chance of making it out of their pool. And we saw Straight Rip do a great job against uh, Instinct at the last land. I mean, those stats don't necessarily pertain to this, but Straight Rip took Instinct to 10 games in the final tournament. So right now, they're looking like the team that's going to be able to upset Instinct. But at the same time, right now, believe the hype, not far behind. I'd love to see what's going on with this B BTH squad. There you see Neighbor doing a nice job. Three down here for Instinct. So BTH taking map control, and they're now up by five as we stay on board with Neighbor. We're actually going over to Clutch, and Scott, this is one of your favorite players in the entire venue. I love Clutch. There's just not enough I can say about him. He talks trash, he makes big plays. He's just an awesome guy to hang with, out with. He's a really down-to-earth player. And you know, you get that stuff out of him, you know? Potty mouth, but I mean, the guy's awesome. But the statement I want to make is if there's a game type that Instinct's going to lose, it is going to be the Team Slayers. They lost a lot of the Team Slayers because they started off with a huge lead and couldn't close. And it looks like they didn't even get a lead in this one, so Team Slayers are kind of iffy for them. Well, it's kind of funny. We've talked about the, the stats from the five-team land, and right now Zealot Slayer. FB going, or my, I'm sorry, Instinct going six and three, Believe the Hype going one and eight, which means so far what we've talked about, it, it means that right now Believe the Hype has the advantage somehow. I mean, it seems that those stats always are wrong right now in the tournament. And if you guys are keeping a track on the forums for us, I believe that is now 1.5 FB slips. <laughs> I'm guessing we're getting at least 12 was that before FB? the end Did of I this say weekend. FB? No, it was Chris. Ah, oh, well, we're good. All, all, all good. We're going to keep getting that wrong, but hey, we'll learn it eventually as Instinct becomes the next dynasty here at MLG. Just an early prediction. 26 to 25, though, it's a very tight game. Believe the hype, losing that seven kill lead as it looks like Instinct is going to take the lead now, 28 to 26. And Pistola is going to pick up that grenade launcher. Perfect shot there, helping Neighbor pick up the, or helping Ogre 2 pick up the kill on Neighbor. I don't understand how he doesn't kill his teammate there, and now he's going to get one kill. Wasn't there another guy down there? Now okay, well, he got one, and now he's going to lay down shots. He does inflict so much damage on the other team. I'm so glad you pointed it out because it's such a vital part of Pistol's game. This is so fun watching Halo right now. <laughs> I got my eyes on Roy's screen. He just had the killing spree, picked up the double kill as well. He's positioned top, middle, but he's getting all kinds of help from the perimeter. You got Pistol who's going to run bottom, then he's going to run around the sides. Lunchbox and Ogre 2 are really being guys doing the support role. They're locking down the positions. Yeah, believe the hype was in this game in the beginning, but when they were in this game, they were controlling the power weapons. They were keeping it out of Final Boss's hands. But it seems as soon as I... Or, oh, God, Instinct. 2 .5. I keep, <laughs> gonna keep doing it. I'm sorry. But they, as soon as Instinct got those weapons, they went on literally a 10-0 run on this, on this Believe the Hype squad. Believe the Hype has any chance. They need to get these weapons. We got Lunchbox position, top gold, he was weak. Roy comes over immediately to help him out. 41 to 29, make it 42 to 29 there after another snipe from Lunchbox. All four players from Instinct really clicking here. They are showing their strength in this game number two, and they are keeping the pressure on BTH here. Neighbor getting away, Roy making one of his few mistakes, just an inch away from connecting with that back smack. But if we can, let's get our camera over to I Got Your Pistol or Ogre 2. There's Ogre 2 on your screen. Both of these guys just won some huge individual battles, and both of their DMRs are on fire. Talk about such an even team. No one player standing out, is the, it is the entire team. It's so impressive. I, I love watching this team. All right, we are done talking about our love for Instinct. You guys, we'll let you talk about it on the forums. 46 to 39 here as I Got Your Pistola is going here on the flank. He's got injured neighbor in front of him, getting the kill before being taken out. Roy laying down some heavy fire from across the map, and he's got Launchbox and Ogre 2 with him here as they're trying to push up the spiral. 
Roy hits the headshot before Cloud and gets the melee off. That's going to make it an easy one shot for I Got Your Pistol. He's going to clean that one up for 49. And now they're looking for 50. And check out the instinct swarm. You got three players all running together. Roy getting the new angle. Lunchbox calling him out under the base, under the base and connects with the grenades. Instinct now up 2-0 to zero over Believe the Hype, and they are not looking back. After a slow start, they really turned it on there. And each player, as you mentioned, Scott, taking turns to do the damage. When we get a chance, I'd love to check out their stats here. Check out that spread you got. I got your Pistola with five assists. Five assists from Roy, four assists from Ogre 2, and Launchbox has six. And three of the four players going positive. Yeah, big game again by Roy. Even though their team has seemed to be very even throughout, Roy's been putting up the big numbers for Instinct. But like we said, all across the board, they just seem to be dominating. They, they look to be on almost another level right now. Well, you know what? Believe the Hype has a game type that is in their favor coming up next. They were 3-0 and on Assault Zealot. Let's see if they can put up a point on the scoreboard after this commercial break. <laughs> 